So I just recently got into doing twist outs on my hair and I'm loving it. So I thought I'd make a video sharing how I do my twist out. The products I'm using are coconut oil, shea moisture, curl enhancing smoothie, eco styler gel with olive oil, and olive oil. So my hair has just been washed and it's wet and the first thing I like to do is put a little bit of coconut oil all through it. And then I'm putting it into four sections because I'm going to stretch the curls out with a blow dryer. I like my hair to be stretched and mostly dry before I twist so that my twist out can be a bit more smooth and have a bit more length. You don't have to stretch and dry your curls first, you could just start twisting while it's wet. I know not everyone likes to use heat, but if you want it to still stretch and dry your curls first, there are other ways you can, like maybe pulling your hair back into a tight bun or two and letting it air dry like that. But for this video, I ain't got time for that, and I don't mind using the blow dryer on my hair sometimes, so yeah. So I'm just stretching my curls a bit, not trying to get them completely straight, but just a little stretched and mostly dry. Now I'm ready to start twisting, but first I'm going to part my hair into two sections. And when you part your hair, make sure you part the front of your hair where you would want your actual part to be. I kind of forgot to do that, so it looks like I'm going to be rocking a middle part then. Hey! So this is the side that I'm going to start with, and I'm going to section off the front of my hair. Then I spritz it with just a little bit of water so I can have a little bit more moisture, but just a little bit because I don't want it to be too damp. Then I apply a good amount of Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie to the section. And then I go over it with a little bit of olive oil. And then last but not least, I go over it with Eco Styler Gel, the olive oil kind, and that's going to keep the hair smooth and keep the twist together. And for this front section, I will start a flat twist. It's just like doing a corn roll, except you're using two strands instead of three. So you just do like a regular twist, except you keep grabbing more hair as you go, like a corn roll. But it's a twist. And I try to keep smoothing the hair as I'm twisting to keep the hair, you know, to keep the twist nice and smooth so that it doesn't come out frizzy. And then as I get to the bottom, I just keep twisting it as far as it will go. And then I kind of curl the hair around the finger, sort of to, you know, make sure it's more secure. And then the remainder of the hair will be divided up into three twists. So the rest of the hair in the back is going to be three twists. And I'm not flat twisting them, I'm just doing a regular twist. And I will apply all the same products I apply to the front twist. And yeah. <laughs> So there will be a total of four twists on this side and I will be doing the same exact thing to the other side. So all together I'll have eight twists and the two front twists will be flat twisted. So this is how it looks when it's done and then you can either put some type of curlers at the ends or something to keep it way down and stretched or you can 
pin the twists, like stretch them across your head and then pin them down before you put your satin scarf on to make sure they're stretched out. But I didn't do that for this video, but I might for future twist outs. But either way, it's all good. And I just put my satin scarf on and went to bed. Okay, so this is me the next day. And as you can see, the twist, they did kind of shrink up a little bit. And then if the hair is still slightly damp from the product, I'll go over that real quick with the blow dryer. It shouldn't be too damp because I didn't twist on really damp hair. It was just slightly damp. And then I'm going to apply some olive oil all over my fingers to help keep the hair smooth as I'm untwisting. And when I untwist, I make sure I start from the very bottom and just very carefully untwist it as I work my way up. Because if you just start pulling it apart from the middle or something, it will probably start frizzing up and it will probably knot up and stuff like that. So. Then once all the twists are out, I need to play around with it, shake it around, pull some of the hair apart, adjust it, you know, to make the hair all blended and look more natural looking. But I'm trying not to pull the hair apart too much because I don't want it to start looking frizzy. And then I gotta play around with the front and adjust it to make sure it frames my face the way I want it to. And then I might spray a little bit of oil sheen on it to give it a bit of extra shine. And this one I'm using is the Cantu Shea Butter Oil Spray. And that's my twist out. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please subscribe, rate, comment, favorite, all that. Alright, bye. Peace out.